This is Captain Chris Myers, Central Florida Site Fishing Charters. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is, ha is uh, having a system where you can hold the fly in your hand and be able to deliver it to the fish quickly. It's one of the biggest uh, obstacles that people who have not flats fished before uh, have to overcome. And if you never tried it, it's not something you want to learn while you're on the water looking at fish. It's better if you can learn it at home and practice it a few times and get comfortable with it so it's, you don't have to think about it while you're on the water. We can't let the fly drag in the water because we're going to catch grass. Uh, you can't strip the fly all the way into the tip of your rod because then there's no load when you start moving that rod and it takes five or six strokes to get any amount of line outside your tip. In order to be successful out here, we have to deliver this fly in no, no more than two or three back casts most of the time. If we want to do that, i got to have at least 15 or 20 feet of fly line outside my tip. So once I do that, I need to have something to do with that line. I'm going to show you what works for me, and you can try it or you can come up with your own system, but there has to be a way that you have the fly line outside your tip. If I start with 15 feet of fly line outside my tip, I have a 10-foot leader. I'm already 25 feet out. In one or two strokes, I can double that, and I'll be landing next to a fish that's 50 feet away in two strokes. So I'll show you real quick how that works. When I'm holding this fly, I want to make sure that I hold the point of this hook always away from my hand. That way it'll never get in my hand. Then what I'm going to do is come above my leader and I'm going to hold this fly line across my middle finger. The only purpose of this is just to get more of this line out of the water so it's not dragging in the water. That's all I'm going to do is just lay it over my finger like that, still holding the fly in my hand. The key to this technique is to not toss the fly over to the side and then start casting. You're going to cast and you're going to let the cast pull the fly out of your hand. So what it's going to look like, I'm going to do it once real slow, just step by step, and I'll show you how it works. I'm going to make a regular back cast, and that line is going to come off my finger, I'm make a regular forward cast, it pulls that fly out of my hand, then I go pick up the line, make one more stroke, and make my delivery. So it's pretty fast, and it's a great way to get out. Uh, you can get out 60 plus feet in two back casts, no problem, because your first stroke, you're loading the rod. So it's not any kind of different casting technique. It's just you know, you'd, instead of starting with this fly laying out in the water in front of you, like you're probably used to, you're starting with it in your hand. One thing I want to mention is when I'm doing this cast, I want to hold this fly out here away from my body, not up here under my chin or by my face where it's, when it pulls out, it's going to hit me. What I want to do is grab the fly in my hand, come up above where the fly line and leader are attached. I'm going to drape that over my middle finger just to get that out of the water so it's not dragging in the water. When I see that fish, it's going to be back cast, forward cast, the fly pulls out of my hand. I get this untangled. So I make a back cast, forward cast, pick it up, lay that fly out 50 feet in two backstrokes.